Hi everyone. Today's prompt for hashtag junk journal July is picture. So I think that I'm going to take the Tim Holtz ideology and pick a picture from here. And first, let's ink it up a little bit. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I'm not going to put any paper on top because as we know, I cover most of it, if not all of it. So why bother? Right? But I will darken this up a bit with some vintage photo. Oh, and I was looking too at this from yesterday. I think I should have put that black lace all throughout here and put the tag on top. That would have been a nice contrast, but now it's too late. <laughs> But I was thinking about that today. I was like, oh, yeah. Because it, it did need something to it. It needed, some, it needed something else. And uh, I was too late with that. That usually always happens, though, right? You do something, and then you don't want the video to be too long. And then you're looking at it, and you're like, I could have added more to this. Sometimes you can add more. And sometimes you just can't. What I liked about this crinkled paper is, when you put the ink on it, it shows all the crinkles in it. All the wrinkles. Okay, so I have tons of doilies from Donna Little, tons and tons of doilies, and I thought it'd be nice to just kind of use what I have. Like I said, um, I want to use up my stash instead of buying things, unless it's something I need. I'm just going to go in my stash, and I've been very good with that, although Joann's has 50% off price coupon and I might get some Tim Holtz ephemera because I always need that you know we're always running out of that so I might just do that so I wanted to put these little doilies on here just, just to give it a little something I just ripped my hair I was moving it away from my face and a piece of it just ripped just yanked right off that hurt that surely did hurt sure surely surely did hurt just gonna put a little bit of fabric tack just on some spots not the whole thing since there's holes and it would could go through So I thought maybe doing something like this would be nice. And I wanted to put this photograph. I was looking at the photographs I had. And this was the only one that was lengthwise. There was a couple of them, but they were a little bit short. And then but they were too big to like overlap. So I just went with this one. No rhyme or reason. Except now I need to know where I want this doily. Uh, I don't like it like that. I think it's going to go best like that. Now, it looks a little stupid like that, but it's okay because this is going to cover it and it needs to come down a little bit anyway. And I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to grunge this up a little bit. 
You can coffee dye them. You can tea dye them. Me, I'm lazy. I just add ink. But I know we have a prompt coming up for tea dyed. So I have some tea and maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe some of them I'll actually tea dye some doilies and lace or something. We'll see. Along with some paper, of course. But this is what I do when I want to grunge something up. And uh, this picture can't stay pristine like this. Oh no. No, 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 no. I have to fix this, right, everybody? Oh no, I think I left my corner rounder at work again. I would have liked to round these corners. And don't you dare tell me, oh, you can just do that with a scissor. <laughs> you don't know me. It will not come out well. Three corners will be perfect, and then one will be a little chacoad. I can't be having that. I'm not done with this yet because I want to I want to put some I want to put some water on it. Okay. Put that down. It looks about right. darker ink. Let me see what I have over here. I don't know. I have ground espresso. That might be a little too dark. I've had these for years, years. See, I still haven't opened some of them. I mean, it's ridiculous. Use your stuff, people. And this one's not even an oxide. All right, let me try this one out. Let me get a new sponge dauber. What is, look at this, I'm using the black one. This was the one I'm supposed to be using. This is supposed to be black. Ugh. I don't know sometimes. I really don't know sometimes what I'm doing. All right, let's try a little bit of the ground espresso. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Uh, ooh. worry this isn't going to dry because it's kind of shiny. See what I did? That, taking that shine off, same thing with nails, nothing sticks to shine. Taking that shine off was it allowed it to stick to the photo because it was too shiny and it was getting streaky and I knew that that wasn't gonna stay. That was not gonna stay. Okay. 
I actually like this a lot, but I'm gonna even I'm gonna put a little bit of water on there. Where is it? Oh, it's right in front of my face. Okay, let's put a little bit of water on there. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Let's put it a little bit more darker. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, I'm getting all my other pages dirty. We think we stop this while I'm ahead. What is this stuck on? Alright, just plunge it up a bit. Get that color. I like it and I think I'm done. Let me show you up close. So that is the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide with the Ground Espresso Distress Ink. And I put a little bit of water on there and activated it and I um, I use my little nail buffer. I get these at the supply store because I have a license. I have a beauty license, so I, I that's where I get mine. But you can get these at the Dollar Tree, I'm sure. You know. And uh, use my little nail buffer there to take off the shine. Oh, and I think Bex, Bex from Black Whisper Craft, she uses a little sand block from the Dollar Tree. So whatever you can find. Just scuffed it up a bit. Added the... the ground espresso and the vintage photo I sprayed it with a little bit of water and there you have it there's my take for hashtag junk journal July prompt picture and if anyone's interested it is hosted by make journals in collaboration with get messy art so thanks for watching happy crafting and I'll catch you next time bye you know what I'm gonna cut this too I'm gonna cut this piece off Let's do that really quick because <laughs> it's bothering me. It's like hanging there. I'm like, nah, I don't think I like that like that. This part right here. All right, I think, I think that's better. Yep, don't you? I think so. Okay, I'm really leaving this time. Bye.